Today is one of those homemaking days where I have an itch to change out decor and be outside. It has been so warm in the Midwest and springtime just feels like it should be coming. So I'm going to bring you along on this spring-like winter homemaking day. Not this That's one. an N. What N though? Look at that or that. Oh, those look like N's? Yeah. Yeah, then it is. I am using some frozen turkey bones to make some broth today just to have on hand for soups because yes, though the weather feels spring-like, it's still soup season, definitely. And so getting the good use out of those bones. When the weather is above 50 degrees, it is time to change out the decor. And when it's mid-February, it's time for me. And I have my little helper who is helping me carry all my greens to our table to collect. And I did leave up a few greens for winter decor and took, out, took down all my Christmas decor about beginning of January. But I just feel the need to change out for a new season, get a fresh start again, kind of have a clean slate, take a look at things and see how I'd like to decorate them for the spring season. Love having help from my oldest and I just can't pass it up even when it's challenging sometimes because things do take longer taking down decor would have taken me just a few minutes but instead it took more like 10 to 15 but it is a joy to see her excited about helping It is time to go through my potatoes and toss some of them. They lasted pretty well. You saw all I have left of the russet and then some of my squash are bad. There's just some sweet potatoes bad there. Onions are re-sprouting a little bit, but I almost got through all of those. So I did a pretty good job of getting through our produce. this space really makes me feel like springtime is coming especially with the potatoes and the eyes on them just thinking I need to get those in the ground in a few months and just really looking forward to that upcoming season when gardening is here which of course I still have to wait a little longer in the Midwest in the Dakotas but just getting a clean slate for this food storage room is a really good way for me to prepare for spring and garden season as well. On this particular day, it is our sheets washing day. So always getting help again. And this new duvet cover was a gift for Christmas and I really love it. I wasn't sure I'd like a duvet, but I just think it's really adorable with a little bit of texture. What better lunch than a cheese quesadilla? My daughter loves these, my husband enjoys them. So simple it is when we don't have any leftovers because we eat our leftovers over the weekend. So just something very simple and 
relatively nutritious and something that I know my family will eat. when it's above 50 degrees is probably a must in my house and then getting it clean just a little bit in that sill as it's been so windy that dirt just seems to creep through those cracks and so I wanted to just wipe that windowsill down a little bit at least for now until my spring cleaning actually happens. sipping my afternoon latte and thinking how should I decorate these three wire baskets. I love changing out the decor for these baskets and just experimenting with little faux florals. I'm not sure what I should actually do here and so honestly it isn't completely done but just having fun with some things that I have on hand that I pulled up from my decor storage bins. with my decor if something doesn't look right or fit right in one location try it in a different location or find another piece that fits well in another particular location for instance this crock those boxwood stems weren't fitting well in there so I found this false craft picture picture I had on hand and just decided to use that out there instead so just making things that you already have on hand fit in your home but maybe in a different area like I said it's 50 plus degrees time to take down our Christmas decor that is outside and I love having lights around the house even into February so I'm just taking down more of the Christmas things like our trees and then our snowflake lights later but it's just so wonderful to be able to be outside in just my long sleeve enjoying the sunshine and just getting some um, vitamin D and fresh air. <laughs> Is that bright? Okay. I'm filming it. So after our walk, after the girls had their nap, we walked out to my husband's business. It is time to make some brownies. I had the urge to make some brownies for dessert tonight. And these are high protein yogurt brownies. So I'll link them in the description box. They'd be gluten free because they have no flour in them. But they are a very dense gooey brownie great with some homemade ice cream that you'll actually see me eat later but um yeah just a fun little treat to make we don't have desserts often in our house and i do try to keep our foods relatively healthy so this was just a fun little treat to make on a whim <music> Supper tonight is just some meat, last of the deer that we had, and they are butterfly chops, and just frying those up in my cast iron skillet, and then we're going to have some einkorn spaghetti pasta, and I get that from Young Living, 
It was our first time trying the einkorn pasta and I really enjoyed it. And then we are using some pesto that I froze from our summer pickings of basil that I had made pesto with, with some marinara sauce. So kind of a very saucy pasta, very delicious with the meat on top and just something that I thought was um, a random meal but it was really delicious and fed my family well and just again using those items you have from your stock house and in the freezer because I want to be able to use the items I have stored up from our summer pickings of produce too and make sure that when that is used up I will be able to make more this coming summer. time to do some cleaning of the sink I use barkeepers friend on our sink and on our stove as well just a really easy way to get the sink more spotless and clean every once in a while on the times I'm not actually seasoning my cast iron I will put some coconut oil on the pan and let them sit I just use some paper towel and rub it in there and then I just let them sit because we use them multiple times throughout the day to divulge in those homemade brownies with some homemade ice cream that my husband actually made. So a beautiful day of spring-like homemaking. Mm -hmm. 